What's going on everybody? Hopefully you're having a good day. Back at it. I'm going to try to do some shorter videos here. I'm feeling a lot better. Appreciate everybody that uh, sent me messages and stuff. So long story short, before we cut in today's video, I had that gum surgery in my mouth last Monday. Yeah, I'm going to tell you it was sore. My throat was all jacked up. And then all of a sudden, like, I got sick. I thought it was from the infection, took COVID test, all this stuff, all came back negative. So finally starting to feel better here. Uh, I may have to do some cuts in the video if I start coughing, but I'm able to, you know, feel a little bit better. Still on the weak side of it all. But back at it here. Uh, got some whatnot going on this weekend. I'll do a video on that separately. So let's get into today's videos. Could do a little two-parter here. First one, fake sports memorabilia worth million C's. This was out of ESPN. So law enforcement agents, they confiscated over 600 fake championship rings across four major U.S. professional sports. Pretty crazy when you look at NFL, NBA, uh, baseball, and hockey. Talking about all the rings, Super Bowl, Finals, World Series, Stanley Cup rings, plus your NCAA championship rings. Pretty crazy. They said Kirk's collectibles and upstate mall uh, basically got raided. No arrests have been made yet, according to the article. This would have been out of South Carolina because it's talking about the South Carolina Secretary of State. Uh, they said they cannot share information about the number of suspects while U.S. Department of Homeland Investigation is underway. There we go. Big tongue twister for me coming back up. Huh? U.S. Department of Homeland Security investigation is underway. So I'm sure we'll hear more on to this offhand. This brings back, if you guys remember the National, I think that was, what, four or five years ago where that guy got busted with all the fake autographs and everything. Well, we know what happened with him. But, you know, you never know what you could find out there, and especially with people spending big money on stuff, not knowing it's counterfeits. I believe this guy was working in a mall, too. Uh... Yep, yep, State Mall, yeah, who's in the mall? I know I read something onto it before, but just crazy when you start seeing stuff like this out there. Uh, more and more stuff like this will keep coming out. People are looking for money, you guys know, economy down, all that fun stuff. All right, guys, let's move on here. Second piece, this will be linked as well, too. This was off of MSN.com. Story by Ariano Hasso. Maybe JSO. At least I try to get the names right here. Give some people credit out there for their work. Rare sports cards worth more than $25,000 stolen in Monterey, California. Now, this happened back on January 31st. I meant to have this video out late last week. And like I said, just being down, it was just not possible. I tried doing a video a couple times. It just was not coming out part right. So... Mr. Villarreal was the owner of the shop, said thousands of dollars sports cards or sports memorabilia was taken from the heist. If you guys look, another glass door incident. I mean, I understand why shops do this so you can see your inventory inside. But when I, if I was doing, like I tell, say this a million and one times, I know the stories always come out. When I was looking at doing, buying a dual zone property that had a shop into it. I was going to take out all those windows. I know you want to have Lightner. I know I had to find the names, and it was weird. It was like these, I want to say they were about 10 inches thick, these glass cylinder things that they, uh, cubes that they put in and make a window out of it just to fill it in. And I was going to do that just so it had some type of light coming through. You can see people walk by, but you can't see in the store. Very hard to break through, trust me. <laughs> I remember as a kid trying to break them with a baseball bat. Did not work well. Brian, you probably remember that. Uh, that that did not come out very well in our favor that time. But uh, just with it there, even you know another single door entry coming in. It's you're not giving a lot of time for that first one. Well, alarm chirps, you know they're already in and out, scope the place out type deal. So it's this. Footage shows a person wearing all black running out of the shop and out of the broken glass door. Uh, the front door's been smashed in with an unknown item, and two suspects entered the business and stole two boxes. The stolen boxes had over $25,000 worth of rare sports cards in them. 
Uh, this video is not part of it. I don't know why that's in there. Anyhow, high-end 49er autograph cards. There was a Mike Trout signed baseball, and that box alone, estimated value for $6,000. There was another part in here I wanted to talk about. The main card in question is a Trevor Lawrence, the 101 rookie card, estimated between eight dollars and $12,000. Why not say what one I know there's a lot of one ones anymore, but why not put out that what that one 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 is? Like it's you know the one one prism, nebula, auto. That way if people see this and it gets enough national attention, it surfaces, you know, hey, this card was stolen, right? I mean, we're not a big huge hobby, and everybody kind of will follow some sort of social media up out there, and it'll be the talk about it. I don't know. Just my thoughts on that. Uh, the second piece of surveillance footage from inside the store showed what police and the owner believe a second suspect be dressed in all white clothing. They said basically they had a client bring some cards in on Friday for consignment, and those items, I believe, were specifically targeted and were stolen. So more than likely somebody cased that out, maybe was in there, knew what to take, in and out, very quick, happening a lot. If you own your own card shop and it's not somebody that frequents your shop, I would just say this is my army background talking. You should always be looking at people like, hey, I've never seen this dude before. Hey, how you doing, man? Where are you from? You know, type say, you know, start a conversation, find out who they are, where they're from, what they're doing in the area, how'd you hear about the shop, whatever you have to do. You know, just your friendly questions out there to gain knowledge and try to remember stuff like that, especially if you have cameras in there that are hearing that audio feedback. But yeah, I talked to this guy when he came in. He I'd never seen him before. Maybe that helps lead to something down the road. I don't know, but just throwing different tidbits out there. If you're a shop owner, those single door glass door entries are just not good. I'm sorry. I mean, I know that's how a lot of them places are and stuff, but if you think about, like, when you walk into, like, uh, well, for us, with Kroger's down here, you're going through two sets of glass doors. So if you break that first one, the alarm triggers. By the time you get through, get to that second door, it's a couple, you know, it could be 10, 20, 30 seconds added on. Maybe the police make it there in time. I don't know. Maybe that second door is all wood and all steel, you know? Just thoughts that I always think about and stuff like this, you know? Because it just seems the same thing is happening all across. They're casing stores. They're coming back, going through this single glass door that, you know, isn't that thick to begin with. You could just crack it real quick and in and out. Uh, just a shame it just keeps going on and going and going and going. It's like every month I'm talking about the same thing happening in just a different state or a different town. And, you know, insurances are just, they're a hassle to deal with. Especially when it comes to collectibles. Anybody that has their stuff insured knows what I'm talking about on to it. But, guys, if you guys uh, follow this or know... Uh, anything about it, or if you guys know what that one on one Trevor Lawrence was from, please put in the comments. Maybe we can get something pinned out there. That way, these bigger shows that, that card's trying to be moved, and we just had Burbank Sports Card Show go on this past weekend. That's why I wanted to get the video out earlier, but I couldn't. Uh, just dude, I, I wasn't able to even really hold a maybe a 30 second conversation, let alone a 10 minute video. That card could have been surfaced out there, you know. Alright guys, appreciate y'all watching the videos. Both links to the articles you guys want to read it will be in the description as always. Uh, no overtime Friday night. I will be doing what not Friday night. Uh, doing a, a what do you call it? Auction night for baseball only. Sunday will be football only. Once I get the football stream made up, I'll put links in the community page or forum page on YouTube and on Discord both. That way, if you guys want to pop in, you want to get some pickups for your PC or who you guys collect, uh, there will definitely be some good deals going on for sure. Burn that, everybody. Take care. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys next video.